Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and today we're going to continue the WordPress theme. When we left off, we were working on the footer, and we got this far. We added in some structure to the footer, and now what we have to do is make it into a dynamic footer so that we can uh, drag in some widgets, and uh, just like we would the WordPress sidebar. So to do that, we have to register a sidebar, and then we have to bring in the sidebar contents into the footer. So let's get started on that. But before we do that, I want to show you one thing. On our index page, uh, last video we had some issues with our heading tags. And uh, I wanted to clear up what the issue actually was. Somebody pointed out that uh, they weren't cleared. And that is true. So what we're going to do is actually add a class of row to both of these ULs. And that will help clear the children for us. But why does that work in Skeleton? Well, if we go to the style sheet of Skeleton, go down to the bottom here, I'm already there, you'll see that a if you add a clear fix, it'll be the, doing the same thing as adding a row. But the row has the added benefit of the extra margin of padding that's default to the columns. If we add the row, it uses the before and after selector and does some uh, fancy stuff here for browser compatibility. But... The most important part is the clear both right here for the row after and the clear fix after. And that's all it's doing right there really is uh, just helping us to clear our children inside of the UL. But back on topic, what we want to do is go to this functions.php and we're going to start a new function, but we're going to check to make sure the function exists first like we have done before. So we're going to say if and then we're going to put in parentheses and say functions exists and we're going to give it the name of the function, which is register sidebar. Then we're going to go over and add little curly braces. Inside of this, we're going to register the actual sidebar. Now, the sidebar is just the name of the dynamic widget area. It doesn't have to be in the side of, the, like, on the, in the actual sidebar of the website. Inside of the parentheses, we're going to add an array. Right, but first, let's hit Control S and go to the browser. And if we refresh on the dashboard and go to Appearance, you'll see that we have widgets now. Inside of widgets, we have all these cool things, default in WordPress, archives, calendar, uh, the meta, which is login, logout links. Uh, find links, you can define right inside of the links tab right there. A search form, all this stuff you can just drag into the sidebar, right? But we have to set all that stuff up to work first. And so we're gonna have at least two sidebars on our theme. We're gonna set up an array inside of this function We've done this many times. Inside of this array, we're going to uh, declare a few things. The first thing is the name of this sidebar. And the name of this one's going to be footer widgets. Now, this is what you'll see in the back end on the title area right here. Sidebar, it'll say footer widgets instead of sidebar one. Now, we'll give it an ID. This is the ID the system will use, the ID that you will use to target it and stuff like that. So footer widgets, make sure it's you know lowercase and has the, the hyphen so you won't ever mess up the caps and things. And now if we want to, mm, let's add one more thing. We can add description. And the description is just a short summary of what the widgets in this area will do. Just for the back end again, I'll say place widgets for the footer here. Put Control S, go to the browser and refresh, and you'll see we have footer widgets and the short summary we added, place widgets for the footer here. Okay, but if I wanted to add in, let's say links, I'll just drag in some links, and this is grabbing from this links thing right here, and it has default links that WordPress just has there for a fresh installation. And uh, let's go ahead and refresh and see what, no, nothing happened, right? So what we have to do is actually enable that in the footer.php file. Let's go to footer.php and inside the left column, we're going to put PHP tags. And we're, go we're just going to say dynamic footer. And inside of these parentheses, we're going to add the name of the footer. Or, wow, I messed that all up. Talking and typing. Dynamic sidebar <laughs> inside of this, we're going to say uh, footer widgets. Hit Control S, come here, refresh, and now you'll see we have blog roll and the links that's uh, in our links page here. 
How cool is that? How easy was that? But if I wanted to add in another widget, let's just say a categories. And I want to give it the title of categories. Click save. Go to the browser and refresh. You'll see all it did was stack these on top of each other because both of these are now inside of the left column. So we need to have them in, in their own containers, in their own columns themselves, right? So if we control S on that, you'll see they're still stacking on top of each other. But we can do something about that. We can go to the functions.php. Inside of this, we'll say before widget, and then we can say what content, what HTML, what whatever comes before the widget itself. And we'll, we'll want to wrap it in a div. So we'll say div with a class of one third column. And then we'll add a comma and say after widget. And then we'll just close that div. Try to at least. Hit Control S, browser, F5 to refresh, and there we go. So now we have both of these widgets in their own columns. If we view this page source, come down to the, to the bottom, and you'll see 16 columns row, which is the footer. Then we have the one third column, and it has the H2 added in there, which we can actually set that ourselves, change that, set the own classes for it by doing before title and after title, the same way we just did before widget and after widget. And we have categories and da 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 da, right? So let's add one more widget to this area. We'll just add in a text widget. And I'll say, hey, I'm a text widget. You can add text and HTML and stuff to me, and I'll like it. I like being the text widget. Okay, that was a bit longer than I wanted to type. But save that, refresh, and now we have A. Blah, 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 blah. So there we go. How cool is that? Not hard to do, but we want one more sidebar. So let's go to the functions.php, copy this, and uh, enter down and paste that in, and then rename it. Sidebar widgets, f sidebar widgets, and say sidebar. Hit Control S, browser and the admin panel, refresh, and we have sidebar widgets. Now we can drag stuff in here and we'll use this sidebar for our post pages, or in our case, our games pages. Done with that. So the home page is pretty much just almost done, right? We have to style the, the sidebars, or the footer in this case, and uh, we'll be done with that for now. Do we want to go in and add in some more games, or whatever it may be? A lot of stuff can be changed. So next time, we may work on the styling of the sidebar and the footer, or we may just, uh, I may do that off camera, so you don't have to watch all the CSS stuff, because I don't know if you're here for that, to be honest. I think most people are here for the WordPress stuff, so uh, I don't really know how to balance it, but I'll do whatever I feel like is the best thing to do from uh, responses from you guys. So please let me know in the comments below if you just want to see the WordPress stuff, and uh, let me do the, the styling and stuff in my free time. So let me know below. Thank you for watching. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time.